Scientific studies have shown the heart is not only the most powerful center in the body, it is the most intelligent, having the ability to receive precognition. If we can create a coherence with our minds and heart center, we can access our intuition more frequently. One of the interesting studies that was done here at the Institute of Heart Math with our, our chief researcher, Dr. Roland McCready, was a, re, was a study on intuition, on the intuitive response. And in that study, they had um, test subjects that were placed in front of a computer, and they were wired up. They, had, they were looking at brain waves, they were looking at galvanic skin response, they were looking at readings from the heart, heart rate variability analysis, and things like that. The test subject would push a button and there would be a delay before the picture would appear on the screen of the computer. And the computer was randomly selecting the pictures. No one knew, no one could know what the computer was going to select. Some of the pictures were pleasant and some were horrific. What we found was is that in many cases the body started responding to the upcoming picture. Responding in the way it would normally to the upcoming picture about six seconds prior to the picture actually showing up on the screen. Six seconds prior, the body began to do what it would do if the picture was there. It was a very, very complicated study, a very uh, detailed study published in two parts in the Journal of Complementary and Alternative Medicine. The data analysis showed something very, very interesting. It showed that when that response began, that the first part of our physiology that was doing sort of the, the intuitive or pre cognitive response was actually the heart. The heart was responding before the brain. It began to go through a deceleration process that would be compatible with the picture that was going to come up. About a second and a half later the brain began to do what it does in regards to that picture. But within the human system at the physiological level measuring that intuitive response to an upcoming event, it was the heart that responded first. And as I read the, the summary of that study, I found it fascinating because what the summary basically said was is that it appears as if an upcoming event is significant or emotional, that we have a tendency to be able to sense that or to respond to it before it actually occurs. And that it, our biology has the capacity and, and does in many ways scan for the future events. It's constantly scanning for future events, but that it's something we're not aware of. We don't know that it's there. We don't know that we do it. But the punchline was is it would be very useful for us to develop that. And it has a lot of utility, a lot of practicality in how we navigate our lives. And so it's just one study beginning to decode you know, something that's remained sort of uh, mystical or sort of you know, vague, which is intuition. What really, what is intuition? And I think certainly there's a lot more to go in that area, but this is one study that indicates that there is a response, that the body itself is actually scanning for future events and that the first responder to that entire process is not the brain, but in fact it is the heart.